welcome back to Fistus Travels. Today is December 26th and we actually uh, finished, we watched Soul on Disney Plus. We actually watched it last night but it was kind of late and we were really tired because we had a busy day. It was Christmas. So uh, my thoughts on the movie, I, I really liked it. It was really, really good. Um, I, I like the whole trying to find your soul's purpose. It, it was a really unique idea and I like like watching uh, somebody ex getting to experience life through someone else's eyes and stuff like that. That was really cool and really good. Yeah, I noticed that he got to um, he got to be on like the outside kind of looking in. And I noticed like, okay, well, I don't really want to spoil the movie for you, but he's like a very self-absorbed character, right? Yes, like very, very self-absorbed. And I noticed when he got to be like the opportunity to be on the outside looking in, he actually like, well, he was forced to like shut up and then actually listen. Mm -hmm. And when he got to like listen, he had the opportunity to like learn. Yeah, he also got to see how he how he affected with him not being it. Um, yeah, you know, on the outside, he got to see how he actually affected the people around him. Cause it, I I kind of felt like he was so me based. Like everything is me 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 me, me, me. I I I uh -huh. like that. Yeah, but like seeing and himself yeah. yeah from the outside when and then when he had to see himself from the outside he noticed with the him not there he was a better him mm -hmm. when he was someone else. Mm -hmm. It was it was such a good movie. Twenty uh, yes. 22's character to me was very well written. It was I mean like even though she came off as annoying in the beginning, but she just kind of seemed really like inexperienced and yeah, and wanting to and learn. And, yeah, and she was in a like place that. that she didn't really need to be, but she didn't she didn't know that yet that yeah. she wasn't supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. So she was kind of like she didn't want to really do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, she, you know, she was uh, unenthusiastic about yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. But when she was where she needed to be, she she didn't want to leave. She was you know, yeah. full of so much joy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I like the most about this movie is like the diverse like cast of like black actors and, and actresses. Like I was super excited to hear Felicia Richard and um, uh, Angela Bassett and David Diggs. It was it was really cool. Yeah. And Questlove was in there too. It was so cool. Um, I like how it was the way they animated the characters. They look like like your average average black people mm -hmm. like people that you would just see like on the streets every day it's mm -hmm. not like you know when you usually movies like they, they're not really diverse or if they have like a black character they'll have like the handsomest yeah most, supermodel type yeah person. prettiest black person mm -hmm. you know a model type but they have like average black people and it's like the like average black people that you would just see every day so like children could look at it and get, just get familiar with cultures. Yeah, I really like. I know. I know they paid really close attention. The one thing I have to note, they paid close attention to was hair texture. Uh, I know, like African American people, we all have different types of hair. Yeah. And I felt they paid very close attention because a lot of the characters did not have the same texture of hair. Um, you know, some was smoother or not smoother, but like straighter, and then some was like a little more coarser, and then some people were in the middle. I just liked to see all of that and all the details they paid yeah. attention to. And look, I think they animated hair very yes, well. They did. There's a scene where they're in a, a, a barber shop, and then you, that you could see like they're sweeping up the hair that they've shaved, and it looks so real. It, it looks does. so accurate. Mm -hmm. I love how like that the, the uh, characters that they portrayed, like the uh, the people of color, like the doctor. She she looked honestly she looked like a real person to me. Like I felt like I have seen that lady before, mm -hmm. and I thought that was so cool to see that. I I just like this made, movie. Like of course it's gonna be Pixar is the best at like mm -hmm. animation to me, mm -hmm. but it, like they paid like attention to detail like so closely that you could see like pores and 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 peach fuzz on people's faces and and sweat. Oh yes, you could see yes, sweat. The sweat. It didn't even look like you know fake cartoon sweat. It looked like real sweat that was dripping down someone's it's face. It's a mixture of like cartoonish animation with like real, real. 
there was a scene there was a scene where you could see just like a room and I was like there's no way that that is animated yeah that looks like an actual room mm -hmm. it there's looks so no good. way it looks like an actual bed I feel like Coco was the movie or no the Incredibles was the op movie that opened up the door for Pixar when it comes to human animation because I remember for a while they didn't they didn't do anything with like actual people they did things with like either inanimate objects bugs or you know something that was just completely fictional I felt like the movie Incredibles is the one that opened the door and what they did in Coco they gave more human-like movement especially when he's playing the guitar because when you see in this movie Joe Joe Gardner the main character how his fingers move on the piano it looks amazing and I'm actually excited to see what Pixar is going to come up with next because I feel like their animation is starting to look more and more realistic and pretty soon we're not even going to be able to tell if it's real or not I wasn't able to tell if it was real or not with like the sun scenes because like I, I've been looking at like New York a lot and this movie is set in New York and I mean the areas that they're in they look just like areas that I have seen like it, it's not like the pretty stuff that they always show like Manhattan and stuff like that it is like just like st the streets of New York and it looks just like it mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looked, that movie is beautifully done. I hope it wins an award. Jamie Foxx did an amazing job as his character, Tina Fey. Tina she was awesome. <laughs> um, I really like this movie. Like, if you haven't seen it, please watch it. The movie yeah. Soul is such a good movie. It, it is really, really good. It's really serious, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, they're going to have, like, silly stuff that's geared towards children. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, I would... If you have like a small child, I would watch it with your kids because there's probably going to be a lot of questions and stuff because it's geared towards adults and children. Yeah, the movie is just, it's so good. We watched I feel it. like Pixar is just gearing their movies towards adults now. Yeah. I feel like yeah. <laughs> I really feel like it. I know, like, oh, this movie was so good. Like, we already watched it twice, so we're probably going to yeah. watch it a third time because that movie was just, it's so good. I love the music in there. The music is so like calming and We serene. have yet to even catch on to Easter eggs. I think yeah. we only saw like one. There was like a picture of Nina Simone. Yeah, somewhere. we did see that. Oh. Uh, but we haven't even saw the Easter eggs. I think the next time we watch it, we're looking at like the movie. Yeah, like, I think oh the next gosh. time. Oh, if you guys don't know, this is kind of a little sad, but John Ratzenberger, the guy who is in every last Pixar movie, he's not in this one. We couldn't find his voice anywhere. So I looked it up in the credits, he's not there. I'm a little bummed out because he's like a, you know, a good luck charm for all of the Pixar movies. He's somewhere in every last one. It's just so sad he's not in this one. I wish he was somebody. He could have been like a, he could have been a Jerry. Oh, speaking of Jerry, there is a female Jerry in there who has the most calm and soothing voice ever. I think her name is Alice, like her real, the actress's name. She has a very soothing voice. I liked her. And I like Terry, even though... <laughs> He's gotta watch it. <laughs> yeah. Terry. Terry. Terry is. Terry was something Terry's else. Something. Yeah, Terry's something else. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Also, comment down below on what your thoughts are of the movie Soul. Are they gonna make more movies similar to this with more human like characters, or are they gonna go back to what they usually do with animals or inanimate objects? We're not sure, but yeah, just tell us what you think because we really like the movie. All right, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.